Hi, I'm Chad Boyd with the USDA Agricultural Research Service, and I'm the research leader at the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center here in Burns. A lot of the research we do revolves around precision agriculture, more specifically the fusion of rangeland agriculture and the conservation of our native ecosystems. Today I'm going to be talking about virtual fence technology, some basics of how it works, and some creative engineering solutions that we've developed to help implement it on the vast landscapes of Eastern Oregon rangelands. This technology consists of two primary components, base stations and cow collars. Stored on each collar are instructions on where the cow should and shouldn't be. Built-in GPS receivers communicate directly with satellites to keep track of each collar's location. So if a cow moves past the boundaries designated on the collar, it will first receive an auditory cue, and if it continues, a mild electrical stimulus. The collars can function independent of the base stations. However, a lot of the features that make this technology attractive to users require radio communication between the collars and a base station. Features such as monitoring each cow's location in near real time and remotely changing fence boundaries. Although the base stations are extremely well engineered, the installation process is quite involved. And while a semi-permanent installation leads to incredible stability, we quickly realized the advantages of making the base stations portable. Out here in Eastern Oregon, we're working in a water limited landscape, which means limited forage per acre and grazing regimes that require a lot of space. The ability to move cattle across vast landscapes throughout the year is paramount to providing sufficient forage for the herd and preventing degradation of our native ecosystems. Our objective was to make these base stations easy to move with a herd and secure enough during transit that nothing gets damaged. And that's where we got the idea to mount the entire base station on a trailer. With a 15-foot antenna and a 7-foot wide solar panel that can sometimes act as a wind sail, we knew we needed a trailer that provided the stability necessary to keep the tower from tipping over. And if cattle have direct access to the trailer, we put portable fence panels around it for extra protection. We modified the antenna so it can be quickly disassembled for transit and well secured to a steel mount welded to the trailer frame while in use. We've hauled this thing to some pretty remote areas and the roads can be really rough. There were several features that we built into the trailer to minimize the amount of shock and vibration during transit. First, we secured the two deep cycle batteries inside the base station cabinet. We then bolted a series of cradles to the floor of the trailer to secure the disassembled antenna and lastly, we cut down rubber stall mats to put between the base station legs and the trailer when we bolted it down. The modifications we made are pretty simple, but the portability has allowed us to implement virtual fencing at very large spatial scales that are typical of sagebrush and forested rangelands without needing to invest in multiple base stations.